an emergency. We're in grave danger. Haven't you heard that a blood-sucking vampire has escaped from the zoo? Of course we have. What's happened to it, Inspector? Well, no one knows for sure, but according to some reports, it's heading towards Moomin Valley. What? what? The vampire's on his way here. That's the latest rumor. Indeed, it might be here already. Oh, dear. Yes, that is a catastrophe. So what do you think we ought to do now, Inspector? You must try to avoid getting bitten, I guess. And does that mean we should cover ourselves with something? That sounds like a good idea. Thank you, Moomin Mama. How about a suit of armor? That would be the perfect solution, but I didn't know you had one. And remember, keep your doors and your windows closed at all times. Yes, that's very important. But I thought you were going to catch the vampire. Oh, yes. The director of the zoo is seeing to that. The specialists are on their way. What if I find it first? Run if you do. But you want to catch it? Yes, of course we do. But if it bites, you're in trouble. Oh, no. Not if I bite it first, Inspector. Now I must leave. There are lots of others who have to be warned. Remember, watch out and try to stay indoors at all times. Good day to you now. Thank you for coming over. You watch out, too. From that day on, the inhabitants of Moomin Valley lived in constant fear of the vampire. Hmm. Yep. Uh, yep. Hmm. How about your face? You can cover that too. Right. Bend down a bit. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't cover my eyes. You don't want him bitten. No, I don't. Don't be a whip then and just stand still. <laughs> hey, what's this? It looks like another fancy dress ball. <laughs> Covered up like this, you see, the vampire won't be able to eat him. But how's Sniff himself going to eat? <laughs> he says he doesn't feel like eating anything anyway with this vampire lurking around. <laughs> he says you must shut every door and window in the house. No need to worry, they're already closed. Oh, and we mustn't forget the fireplaces. Better shut them, too. Hmm. Listen, Sniff, there's no need to wear that thing in here. Why not just wear it when you go out? Undo it? Oh, no, don't do that. It suits you. <laughs> Are you really going to wear that when you go out? Of course I am. Next to a suit of armor, this is the best thing. Well, I'm not scared. I'm going to catch that vampire. Not without me, you're not. Vampire. Oh! <laughs> That'll teach you. Ah, ah, stop it, little ma, it's me! Ah! You can't fool me by disguising yourself as Sniff. Good afternoon, Mr. Hemulin. Oh, Snuffkin. How can you see through that net? It looks very difficult. It is very difficult, but better than being bitten by that vampire, I guess. That's not like you, Mr. Hemulin. What do you mean? I don't want to be bitten, Snuffkin. That's not what I meant. With all your knowledge of plants and things, I thought you'd know that vampires can't stand garlic. Is that true of vampire bats, though? Well, I think so. I wouldn't be too sure. I see you're not wearing anything to protect yourself. See this? Oh, well, I could wear both, I suppose. This has been used for centuries, therefore there's no need to wear both of them. Thank you for telling me. I'll certainly go and get one for myself. Papa, would you come here for a second? What's wrong? Well, what is it? The vampire's here in the kitchen. What? What did you say? Whoa. Uh, uh. Where are you going, dear? Come quick, run for your life. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Oh, huh? <laughs> the vampire's here in this house. What? <laughs> Mama? Are you all right? Has the vampire attacked you, Mama? Oh. Huh? Mm. 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 
This is an awfully nice little vampire. Just look at him, he's eating a pancake. We must send for the zoo people immediately. He's got such a sweet little face. Are you quite sure, Mama, the vampire hasn't bitten you already? Of course he hasn't. He wouldn't do a thing like that. He's too nice. I don't understand. It's not natural for someone to say a vampire is a nice creature. What are you trying to say, Moomin? Well, I've heard that if one bites you, you become a vampire too. And protect the first vampire. Well, I never. Do I really look remotely like a vampire, Moomin? Gee, what are you planning to do with him now, Moomin Mama? Well, I was thinking he could stay here with us in the kitchen for a while. Are you serious? Well, why ever not? It's nice and warm in here. You will keep him in the jar, though. Not all the time. If you think I'm going to live here with a vampire on the loose, you can think again. You can always go outside when it's on the loose, Moomin Papa, but keep all the doors and windows shut. Huh? What's that thing over there? Uh-oh, it wasn't the ghost, was it? It certainly was. It's so chilly in here. Tremble, frail mortal, for the revenge of the forgotten dried-out bones. Uh, have you caught a cold? Yes, I'm afraid I have. Are you all right? No, I'm not. What's happening here? Why aren't you scared of me? I tell you, it's very difficult being scared of someone who sneezes. You'd sneeze too if you tried to rattle chains in weather like this. Such cold, hard things. When I return later on this week, beware thy fate. I shall put my clammy hands upon your sleeping form. You're coming back another night? Right. Can you tell me what time? Uh, well... What about next Friday at midnight? Earlier, if you like. How would that suit you? That's splendid. I'll invite my friends for a ghost party. Your friends? Isn't that a good idea? The more people you have to scare, the better you like it, surely. Huh? Well, I guess so, but... Very well, then. I shall return next Friday night around midnight to scare you all. How exciting! What a great surprise it'll be for everyone. See you Friday! Take care now! Hey, Snip! You can take your hands away now. The ghost is gone. He's such a scaredy cat. And did the ghost return on the Friday night? Yes, he certainly did. And that night I decided to wait for the ghost outdoors. I've got something exciting to tell you. I haven't invited you here tonight just for dinner. That explains why this fish you've given us doesn't taste so good tonight. So, what's your reason for inviting us here, Moomin? I've asked you so you can have a truly scary experience. Oh, how exciting! I really love being scared! You won't be disappointed. At midnight, a real ghost will appear before you. What? You heard him, Fuddler! Wow, that's exciting! Hey, Moomin. Uh huh? Please don't make ridiculous jokes. You know I'm frightened of ghosts. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Uh, I'm not joking, Fuddler. <gasps> Goodness, look over there! Huh? Yeah! You weren't joking! Where is he? Coming this way and he's right behind you, Fuddler! Yeah! Beware the revenge of the dried out, broken, forgotten bones! How wonderfully exciting to meet a real ghost for once! Would you like to join us for some soup? Oh no! This is not the way you're supposed to behave! 
When you see me, you should all shout eek and fall to the ground trembling. You should turn pale and your teeth should start chattering. Well done. At least you know how to behave properly. Thank you, my friend. Oh, don't come any closer and leave me alone! Well, I'm a bit disappointed, too. I thought you'd all be scared out of your wits when you saw him. I wasn't scared, but I was certainly surprised. Surprised and very interested. How is it that a ghost can hover above the ground like that? If he was willing to share his secret with me, I guess I could use it for my amphibian. Say, Moomin, perhaps the ghost could move in and live with you. Then we'd have one more member for our special colony. That's a good idea. If you lived here, you could scare us any time. Would you like to? Hmm, I might consider it if you kept it nicely heated. You see, I suffer a great deal from these head colds. No, oh, but Moomin, I won't be able to come here and visit you anymore. Oh, don't be no! silly. You must come. You're the only one here who's scared of me. I have nothing to do if you don't come. I told you not to come any closer! And that was how the ghost and I started to live together. She's coming. Just when I was winning. You better hide under the table, little Mai. Don't be stupid. How can I hit her with my rolling pin from there? Where is she, Papa? Exactly where she was yesterday. I'll go for her toes, all right, Papa? Let me go first, and then the rest of you can fan out behind me. <laughs> Moment, Mama. What is it, Papa? Perhaps now's the time to tell us your idea. We, we haven't long. <laughs> Wait, uh, Groke. <laughs> Don't go away. Uh, we want to talk to you. <laughs> We know that you've come back to get what Thingamy and Bob took from you. <laughs> that, that is right, isn't it, huh? Won't you let them keep it, uh, perhaps? <laughs> no, uh, will you sell it to them? Oh, dear. I have some very beautiful things here in my bag. Maybe you'd like to trade, Groak. What about this pendant? Isn't it lovely? So, you don't like that. Uh, what about this, then? Uh, or this? Oh. All right. Why don't you choose? Take anything you want from my handbag, except the hair slide. Which one do you want? This one? Let me see. Or this? Oh, this one? Oh dear, that's not really mine to give to you. Snork Maiden gave that to Moomin. Is it all right if I give the shell to her, Moomin? Oh! Mama. You leave her 
you're alone. Are you all right? Yes, my hand was suddenly frozen. Now you've got the shell, Mrs. Groke. Do you promise not to come back anymore? Cause I'll get you if you do. <laughs> That was a close thing. I'm glad that's over. <laughs> oh, you are marvelous, Mama. <gasps> Someone's here. I can feel it. saved us from falling through the floor with the bed, wasn't it? It was very nice of you to help us like that. Thank you very much. It was the bed that I wished to save. Oh, sorry about that, and sorry for scaring you as well. True, you scared me, yet I am the ghost. Oh, I haven't been so frightened in 700 years. Forsooth, I am a poor ghost not to scare you. Oh, well, I guess I was a little scared. I really was. I think you're quite a scary ghost. The heart most kind to say so. I believe it was thy strange shape and color that did scare me. Oh, well, I guess I would have been a lot more scared of you if I'd never seen a ghost before, but I did meet some ghosts once somewhere else. Oh, rattler of nocturnal bones. We direly need your help. Come this evening at the dead of night. Uh, P.S., uh, please don't bother to bring your chains. There, how's that? A very nice letter, dear. I'm sure he'll be delighted to come along and help out. Oh, he's here. I think he likes the look of the place. Good. Tell you what, if that's this ghost of yours, I must say I'm very disappointed. Disappointed? Why is that, little Mai? Well, he's not exactly scary, is he? It doesn't matter as long as he gets on well with Damie Lane. I hope it'll work out. Of course it will. I declare Manor Park looks as pretty as a picture. Well, you see, we thought it would be a neat idea to smarten the place up a little for you. For me? Oh, you're so kind, Moomin. Well, to tell you the truth, it was Papa's idea, really. Oh, tis a ghost, huh? What does he want here? Aha! Arrived exactly on time. He's come here to pay you a visit. Who, me? Yes, he's Papa's ghost friend who lives on the island. Papa wrote him a letter inviting him to come to Gobble Manor and meet you. Oh, he does cut a dashing figure. It must be those old-fashioned clothes he wears. Papa says he's even older than Gobble Manor, and he has royal blood, too. Gracious, and I haven't even done my hair. You'll look just fine anyway, but I think he's looking for you. Really? Hey, look, there goes Damie Lane now. Looks like we did the right thing by sending that letter. I think we did.
What was that? The ground's rumbling. Is it an earthquake? It's coming oh, from really? over here somewhere. Oh, don't leave me here. It's really dangerous. Wait for me! It's coming from over there. According to this, the storm is blowing over now and it should stop raining soon. Well, the wind seems to have dropped. Oh, good. All that thunder and lightning is so noisy. Ah, right. I think I'll just go for a bit of a walk before I settle down for the night. But it's much too dark to see anything. The fresh air will do me good. Oh, ah, that's a good idea. I could do with some fresh air myself. Wait for me. I'll come too. Let me in quick. What's I'm away. The ah! They're still there. Hundreds of them all glowing. The Hattie Fatners. They're waiting for us. The lightning must have recharged them. Look at them all. I wonder what they want, Snufkin. Such a heavy storm would have given them lots and lots of energy. Gosh, they're ready for anything. Oh, they're not coming any closer. They seem fairly friendly. Maybe they just want to see what we look like. No, I know what they're here for. Oh, what's that, Snufkin? It's their barometer, Moomin Papa. They know we've got it, and they've come to get it back from us. Yes, I think you're right, Snufkin. Mr. Hamelin? I do think you'd better give it back to them. Do I have to? Yes, of course. After all, it is theirs, and there are a lot of them. Look, why don't you take it out to them now? <sighs> you know, the barometer does belong to them, Mr. Hamlin. Oh, dear, dear. Give it to me. Let me do it, Papa. Well done, my boy. You must be careful, my dear. Don't worry, Mama. Oh, boy, isn't he brave? This is what you've come for. Here you are. You can have it back now. something. I'm real glad there's no electricity where we live. Oh, they didn't hurt you, did they? Ah! Go away! Leave her alone! Are you all right? 
right, Snork Maiden? What did he do to you? Just a bit of shock, that's all. What's that funny smell? <gasps> oh my golly, it's your hair! What? What do you... What do you mean? What's happened to it? Oh no, my hair! Mama! Mama! Where's your mirror? Oh, Mama! Oh, look at what those wicked Hattie Fatteners have done. It's here in my handbag somewhere. Hurry, Mama! I must see what's happened to my hair! Here you are, dear. Look at me! Look at me! It's awful! It's horrible! It's horrible! Don't worry. We'll put some magic ointment on and it'll come back all lovely and curly. I don't want nasty curly hair! I want my long beautiful hair like it was before! <laughs> You know, it really doesn't matter to me, Snort Maiden. Gone? Oh, good. I hope that's the last we see of them. Oh, dear, what's happened to Snort Maiden? Principal. Great tasks await me, and life is short, so I'm leaving. I hope you don't mind, but I've taken a jar of pumpkin jam to eat on the way. Do not grieve my departure. Moomin. Maybe I should have waited and left in the morning. Nothing to be afraid of if I close my eyes. It's morning! <gasps> 